Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We had an issue uh, with our friend Asahari, and he had a uh, uh, real quick question. He said, "Why is my why does my macro have an infinite loop, and it basically crashes Excel? And you know, it's a simple macro. It should just you change the date, and bam, this um, this updates, this updates, this updates. Three little things. Why is it?" Why is it taking all of Excel's energy and just crashing? So we're going to address that. It's a very simple thing. And this might happen to you, too, if you do a worksheet change event. So you need to look out for this. And so we're going to take a look now. Um, what I've got here, I'm going to hit Alt-F11. Uh, I could have also right-clicked on the sheet that the code's in and clicked on View Code. And that will lead us to the code that's within this sheet named Cover. So what he wants to do... Basically, whenever the whenever anything changes on the worksheet, which means if you type anything and hit enter, it's going to treat that as a change, as long as you double click on the cell. So, um, what we're doing is we're making it if this date right here is changed, it's going to trigger this thing. Now, I'm going to show you uh, what it is actually doing, and then I'm going to show you the very simple fix to it. Okay, so let's go through it. Let's debug through, and how we'll do that is we will. Uh, we'll put a stop marker right here at the onset of the macro. Right here is a little stop marker on this little side panel here. You click there and you can make a stop marker. So it'll pause right there. I'm going to change the date to 1-8-2014. And when I hit enter, it's actually going to stop at the very stop point that we told. But that triggers the worksheet change event that's within this sheet. Um, so we're declaring WSCHG as the worksheet and then we're setting it to equal the worksheet called KBK2 that's got all this fun data in here and there's little dates here in column C so what he's got is a real nifty system here he is, uh, whoops, let me go back to the, the sheet that you should be on so it says here, let's hit F8 and no, uh, let's, this is cool he is getting the row number for that particular date by sniffing it, sniffing out on the um, on the KBK2 worksheet. He's using the match function, and he's matching today's date or whatever date we punched in there. And he's trying to find that in column C that I just showed you that has the dates. And using the match function, that will return whatever date it was or the first instance of it anyway, and that is on row number 17 in all of column C. So row number is now 17, which is so we'll, we'll be getting, uh, using this right here, this is saying which sheet we're getting it from, and this is saying uh, row 17 at this point, and column 4, and then we want column 34 and column 25. So that's what we're putting right here, here, and here, based on that date. So cells uh, row five comma column four. This would be row five, column four, and then row six column four and row seven column four, respectively. So that's we're putting information here, putting information here, and putting information here. Now check this out. I'm gonna hit F8 and it's gonna run this line right here. Um, but we'll see what happens. It's about to change a cell on that worksheet. And what happens when we change a cell on a worksheet? I'm gonna hit F8 now it triggers a worksheet change event, right? So that means, okay, so let's debug through a little bit, okay. Blah, 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 yeah, same same thing. Now we're saying um, that same cell is is gonna be updated with the information from the other worksheet right now. Oh, well that triggered a worksheet change event. So you see, as we go, it's just triggering itself over and over and it's never getting to move on. So here's the simple solution to that. I want you to surround <clears throat> any areas of code that's going to affect the worksheet that has a change event with this application dot enable events and I can hit tab or I can just hit the equals uh, button right now and it'll auto finish but application dot enable events equals false and then at the very end application dot enable events is true so what the enable events is, of course, a worksheet event is something like the worksheet change event or the worksheet selection change event. So if you're making in, uh, enabling events equals false, you're disabling all events. So let's try that now. Let's start over and let's change it to 1, 7. 
and I hit enter. So this, and it says it's un found in row 16 of the other sheet. Now application enable events equals false. So we see now that it will no longer trigger this worksheet change event until events are turned back on. Pretty cool, right? Just let's see if it works. So hit F8. Oh, look at there. Turn that to 148. Let's hit F8. That's 147. F8 one more time. Look right here. Boom, 107. Application.enable events is turned back on at the very end of the macro. And bada bing, it will no longer lock up. So enable events equals false to, to turn off triggers. At the end, enable events equals true. If you have worksheet events or any kind of events that you're afraid will trigger, turn it off and back on real quick. So let's now let's try that at full speed. I think I yeah, I did I took off the thing. So one, comma eight, enter. And these are not, you know, functions. This is an actual value shoved in the cell. That's the beauty of uh, VBA. Let's do one six. Okay, one uh, fifteen. I don't know if they have that. Boom! Completely radically different. So you have the actual values in here. Pretty, pretty cool. So, um, and you can also, of course, you can make your macro as long as you want. So it could do a good jillion different things. That's the gist of it. And I hope that helped you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and God bless. And don't forget to check out our new music channel called Music Awesomeness. I am about to start a guitar series, but I already have started the piano series. I've got a beatboxing expert that we're going to bring in to teach you some amazing beats that you can do with your voice. Uh, my cousin Tristan is teaching a drum, uh, drum set course, and I will be doing music theory. Uh, harmony training, vocal training, and everything else. So check that out too if you're interested, if you like music. It is really easier than you think to get started to play and write your own songs. So check it out. We'll be doing covers. We'll be doing original songs eventually. So anyway, thanks for watching. God bless, guys.